However, it is a tradition and we love it um, because in it, we learn some things. We learn to uh, seek the face of the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near. And we've been talking about goals and setting goals and uh, the things that we want to improve. How do I improve myself? What do I do to uh, make myself more, more um, uh, I guess, sensitive to the things of the Lord so that I may be pleasing in his sight? And so we're going to deal a little bit tonight with, uh, uh, in our uh, very brief talk, about our, uh, I guess, our, our, our mind, our work ethic. And we, for some reason, we uh, uh, put a lot of, what would I say, um, a lot of, uh, of credence or a lot of, I'm trying to find the word for it, a lot of things that we do, we put it, uh, we want brain power. We want to be smart. Uh, we want to uh, know all things. We want to uh, show people what we need. And we want to improve ourselves. And that is part of ELU, to help us improve ourselves. But the thing that we want don't want to do is to be caught up into only intellect, uh, caught up into only seeking after a career, caught up into secular things as opposed to spiritual things. And of course we know, and, and, and I don't think that the most time would be upset uh, with us if we sought after the things that uh, we like, as long as we are in keeping with his word, as long as we are ready uh, to seek his face, as long as we are ready to give him the glory and uh, give him all of the uh, accolades that, he deserves. So we want to strive to be a good person. We want to strive for a better life. We want to live uh, our lives that people will respect us. And every person, every person uh, needs to strive for these things, but they need to strive to purify themselves uh, so that their essence is entrenched in holiness. And um, if the Torah has placed its limitations on certain things in life that we should or should not do, we have to respect that. But our brain wants to operate on its own. Our brain wants to seek its own intellect. Our brain wants to think for itself and not for um, the pleasure of the Most High. Now, one thing that uh, the Messiah always did, he always said, I come to do the will of my Father. That's very important. I come 
to do the will of my father. So this thing that we have today uh, in our modern job uh, seeking, uh, you know, and, and, and we want to be honest because we we talked about truth. And truth means that we like to operate in the intellectual. We like to use our brain. We like to think for ourselves. Uh, we want to we want to appear intelligent to people. But how, how do we do this? How do we live and align ourselves uh, and, and give our intellectual tools to the most high? The first thing is, is that we must recognize that we are not our own. We have been bought with a price. That's the first thing we have to realize. We have, we're not our own. And we seem to think that the first thing people say, well, I, you know, I have my own mind. I can think for myself, but that's really not true. Your thoughts are guided by two uh, different entities. The first is, is if you're in the natural, is guided by the natural and it can border on being under the influence of, of Satan and the demonic force. The other is, is that we let this mind be in us, which was also in the Messiah. And so if we do that, we can accomplish both. We can use our brain and our intellectual tools to uh, please the most high, but it should be done under his scrutiny. Uh, several years back, the Ruach revealed to me that when Adam sinned and used his brain to draw the conclusion as to whether he should eat the fruit and he decided to do it, that the brain took on a uh, uh, an exercise it was not designed to do. The thing, that's why there's so much depression. That's why there is uh, dementia. That's why there's Alzheimer's. The mind was not designed to do its own thing. It was there to hear the law of Jehovah and obey it. All Adam had to do, he named the animals, intellect. He uh, 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 tended the garden skill. So he was not uh, defect in those areas. He wasn't dysfunctional. But when he allowed the enemy, Satan, to convince his wife who convinced him to think for himself, he lost the connection with the Most High. And then the brain began to develop a situation where it would be overloaded. And because it became overloaded, we find that man now, all kinds of diseases, brain diseases have entered into our system. Proverbs says, I believe it's the 14th chapter, it says, there is a way that seems right to a man but the end thereof is death. And so while we want to have a job, we want to have a career, we want to uh, be productive as a productive citizen, we want to help uh, do good works and good deeds, we must realize, and Elul teaches us that, we have to teshuva. We cannot be ashamed to declare that I have sinned and come short of the glory of Yah. We cannot be ashamed to say, I'm inadequate. I need help. Glory to God. And as we were discussing in Sabbath school today, some felt a little, you know, uh, nervous uh, about praying uh, with other people in front of other people. But that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Uh, and, and that prayer has to be fervent. It has to be hot. It has to be sincere. Uh, it has to be uh, strong. And we are praying one for another. Confess your sin and fault. 
one to the other that you may be healed. And so we learn from Elul, from Teshuvah, from Salakai, that we are to make penitent prayers. We are to confess our sins. And uh, a brother said to us years and years ago, it was so funny when we started. He said, um, you know what? He said, I'm finding out if I confess that sin this week, I'm not coming back next week and saying I did that same thing over and over. He said, you get shame. So you, you, you either you'll stop praying or you won't do it anymore. He said, but I've learned that if I was guilty of that this week and next week, that third week, I'm not going to be guilty of that because I'm not going to be confessing and saying, oh, I, I got this. Oh, I messed up again. No. We want to, if we fall, we want to get up and keep it moving. And our brain was not intended for us to be intellectual, but our brain was there for the most high to use us to carry out his will in the earth. And so you will learn that Elu, if you take on the tradition, and you really do it the way it is really supposed to be done, confessing the, the stalakite prayers. If you teshuva, repent, turn around and, 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 and start all over again and do righteousness, you'll find that it works when you work it. Now, on tonight, uh, I believe the scripture will be on the screen. It will tell you the scriptures that you will read tonight. We will continue in the morning with the 5 a.m. prayer. We dispensed of it today because this was Shabbat and we do not do teshuva and fasting on Shabbat. But our, our scriptures for tonight, uh, if you see it on the screen, will be Psalm, uh, I believe it is, 86, this is the 23rd and 24th. Tonight it is Psalm 86. In the morning, Isaiah 30, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is Isaiah 30. Tomorrow evening is Psalm 28. So I want to say, put this to you and that all is well that ends well. Blessings to you.